I love it. Love the assignment, Patty Taggart from Tag Along Toys. Good morning. Oh, great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Nicholas is around. He'll come in yeah. when, he, when he's ready. He's having a water break or something. Exactly. You know, yeah. coffee. Whenever he wants to come in and play with us. Uh, ages two to eight, educational toys, what we're talking about here. Hey, yes. How's, how's it going? Good. I'm glad to hear. Uh, okay, so what, so two, from two years old, you can start with educational yeah. toys? Yeah, we've got a lot of games, actually, that are okay. good for that age. And it's hard because two years, you know, people want to introduce their kids to games, but they're really hard to find. So we did bring a few that we can show you that like are good that. for two. Yeah, it's, yeah. Also, a two-year-old for one person is, like, children develop at different rates, so you'll Absolutely. know whether or not this is going to be good for your Absolutely. kid. Absolutely. Well, one of the first games I brought here is called Barbecue Blitz, and it's actually nice. for two plus. And what's really fun about it is that each person gets a, uh, okay. a spatula. And what you're trying to do is you're flipping over the burger. So you each have a card oh, here, and you're trying to match this card number, the uh, sorry, not the number, but you're basically trying to find that oh, pattern on there. I found the pattern. And when you find one, the uh -huh. first person to fill up their card, then you got this. When you get all of them filled, you put a burger on. Whoever has four burgers at the end oh, wins. Oh, I love it. But you, it's a good game because it's a memory game because you flip them back. You're supposed to oh, flip them back over. Oh, you're supposed to flip over. them back. I'm not just supposed yeah, to expose them. Yeah, to look for oh, it. I like that. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. a really that's great easy. game. And, and it's really simple. Another one that I love, again, it's sort of a memory game. I love this game. Nicholas, you can even turn over some of these cards with Jeff here. Basically, what you're trying to do is Oh, that doesn't match. match. Yeah, <clears throat> it's a matching game. But I like about this one is mm -hmm. it's all real pictures. It's not cartoony. It's things that kids can identify with. So I find that that's what they want to learn more from is because they can identify. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And uh, the kids, look at you. Oh, you got a pair. All right, Good got job, a pair. buddy. All right. And uh, what's Telltale? Oh, Telltale is one of our favorite games, eh, Nick? Nick's going to show you this one. It's a game where what you're doing is you're getting five cards and you're telling a story. So these are the five cards Nick chose. So he's going to tell you a quick story out the five cards. Okay, Nick, hit me. So there's a, uh, a cowboy. Uh -huh. He fell in the hole. He didn't know what to do. He found a big monster and he put him to bed. Well, that's the best thing to do when you find a monster. You put him right to bed to get him snoozing. I like the story. I kind of it's, it's, it's amazing how fast that happens. It is. And you know what? My niece was three and we started doing it with her last year. She goes, I want to do another one. So you can keep adding to it. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. These ones here are like brain teasers. I love this stuff. Smarty pants. Grade one. They start in kindergarten up to grade one. And they're just little <laughs> questions to get the kids, you know, answering questions and stuff that yes. pertain to their level, where they're at. This is seriously uh, educational here, this, huh? Is, yeah, this is probably a little bit too old for Nick right now. Uh -huh. Well, he's almost seven. They're seven plus. They're Canadian made, and they're all questions about human body. They come in French, Heart, English, Spanish, ear, whatever, right? Fantastic games as well. That is great. Um, and then the other one we brought. Oh, yeah, we'll stay here because we are right here. Is the Math Busters? These are fantastic okay. for the older kids. You know, you want to get them practicing their multiplication, addition. If they're having difficulty yes. with them, get practicing with them. Okay. Um, yeah. Now. Nick is dying to show me this. Yes, he's going to show you in this first segment okay. something that he's going to show you. That what are those called? They're, um, what do you want to call them, Nick? Name. We call them amazing spheres. Okay. And so what Nick's going to do is he's going to show you how you drop them into the water. So we've got our big bucket here, of, or our cup here of water. Mm -hmm. And Nicholas is going to pour the beads into the water. And then when we come on to the next segment, you're going to see how the beads have turned into something. Right, Nick? All right. Cool. So we'll let that let that simmer yep. over the next uh, exactly. little while. Yeah, exactly. And one we'll other one I'm going to show more. you because I love this game. This is called Find It. I don't know if you've ever seen these before, but this I is haven't. the cards. Okay. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to find every piece on this card. It's like and a needle in a haystack. Yeah. So you're turning it, turning it, turning it, and then when you get find the object. Oh, that's so you on don't the actually cards, make a mess. You just yeah, look exactly. For so it. great for traveling, but great at home where you don't want to so make a big mess. So I just mess. found a pickup truck. So uh, then pickup truck, you check off and then you check it off. You're trying to get the whole list. And so if you had two of these, you could challenge each other, Yeah, I exactly. Guess, right? Who can get them first? Well, you That's could. And there's really other good. ones. This one here is called Starry Night, the same thing, all dealing with bedtime themes. Like, it's got little books, and it's got your slippers and that kind of thing. So it's really cute. When you when you talk about educational toys, it's actually a good way to ramp down from hyperactivity to bedtime, Absolutely. that little bridge before Absolutely. story time, right? Yeah, really it's, good it's true, because that's the kind of stuff we do with Telltale. The other one we really like playing, too, is called Spot It. So, Jeff, you have this card, and okay. I have this card. There's something similar on every single card. Whoever identifies it first so gets the card. Um, so if you see anything mm -hmm. on there, and it's hard sometimes, but there's something on there that, that matches. Okay. Oh, I what see it got? now. This guy here. So oh, I collect it. I totally missed it. Yeah, me too. So whoever has the most pairs at the end wins. Great for travel. I'm a slow developer, though, to we'll be honest, you know. Patty. Let's be honest here. <laughs> no. All right. So, yeah, so that. This one here is great for teaching time. But I love this because what you're doing. This with is something the kids, my little guy could really use. Three and a half, and he and he doesn't know time yet. So this is something we want to concentrate on. So what you're doing is you would turn the dial. So I've set it up here to this one is three o'clock or mm -hmm. fifteen o'clock if you want to teach them that way as yeah. well. 
It's a puzzle. So what they do is they find three o'clock from the clock, add 15, and it's a puzzle. So they're putting them all together. It's okay. a really good teaching tool for That's kids. That's really nice. And yeah, uh, like my, my little guy says, remember last year when we went to the store? I'm like, it was really yesterday. But, you know, <laughs> he's working on it. He's working on it. Uh, it's kind of fun to watch them develop oh, and get better I at agree. these things, I imagine, these I toys, right? I absolutely agree. It is. It really yeah. is. Yeah, it's fun to see them developing and whatnot, too. And like I see Nick, you know, from the time he was two to now and the games that he really enjoys playing. And, you know, we really try hard to get lots of games out at home. When we come back, we're going to see what happens happens to these. I'm excited. Uh, these cool, amazing uh, spheres. Yeah, amazing spheres. All right, we'll mm -hmm. check it out. That's on the way. Tag along toys. More from them in just a moment. Thank you, Patty.